What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy Blue, and welcome to another early look at Train Sim World 3. Today, we are back in Germany, Würzburg, Germany, to be exact, for some more high speed action in the old ICE 1 Intercity Express high speed train, which is currently waiting for us at platform 7. So let's go. Oh, there it is. It just finally got here. Right on time, as usual. We'll make our way up to the front. Lots of people waiting for this train. Really think that they've... This Train Sim World 3 upgrade to the rain effects, the snow effects, all that stuff is just amazing makes a huge difference alright it should be opening up the doors we head to the front and uh, we'll take over this service from here time to clock in that will shut the door behind us here is the engine room not much back here I don't think you can actually click on anything um, but it is mostly modeled and then back here takes you to the cabin. That was make our way to the front. There's a freight train moving into. Lots of stuff going on. I love it. Right, I'll take over this service. Thank you very much. All right, let's get started. So we are loading passengers. This check reverser is in and forward. Throttle is off. Uh, oh yeah, one thing. We're gonna do this with the safety systems on. Everything except CIFA, because nobody likes CIFA. Uh, we'll get PTB on, LZB on. Uh, we got a couple minutes until the service starts, so we have time. Uh, there's a CIFA switch if you want to turn CIFA on, but uh, we're not going to do it to have a bit of a more relaxing drive today. We also have AFB. I'm going to turn that on. And then AFB V Soul. Now, a quick tip. If you turn on LZB uh, and AFB with AFB Soul, it makes this drive just... 100% easy. Uh, basically, auto throttle, all your speeds we managed throughout the entire route. I don't think you need PZB to make it work, but we'll use PZB anyways. So, yeah, that's what we're setting up today. And there's that uh, freight train ahead of us. Oh, some more trains. Man, I'm loving the action going on in the station. We got here a little early, but I got to do some train spotting. That's always fun. I'll turn the... Uh, we'll go with the desk lights. And we'll have our headlights turn to bright. Uh, instrument lights on. Uh, no sand for the moment. Train line on. Throttle off. Uh, we'll make sure our brakes are on. Uh, we'll switch our AFB to like about 40 just to start up. There we go. And that is all we need to do right now. And we are ready to go in just a few seconds. We'll uh, close the doors and roll out. All right, let's head to our first stop of Folder Platform 6. Let's go ahead and release the brakes. All right, train brakes are released, and now we'll put in some throttle. And it takes a second to kick in. And maybe not all the throttle, because we are in the snow, and we don't want to... We can see we're already spinning the wheels right now. So bringing the throttle back to stop from some spinning. We could put sand down if we want. We don't need to, but um, we'll do it anyways. Why not? And we're rolling out. Oh yeah, departing Würzburg, and I gotta say, this is dynamic weather at its best. This is dynamic weather just showing off right now. We're, I loaded up into a timetable, uh, not a scenario, just a timetable service. Uh, I think it was at 8.30, 8.25 a.m. I set it to uh, 
light snow. So we're starting off in the light snow. As you guys saw when we first spawned in and walked into the platform, it was snowing. It wasn't snowing hard, it's a light snow. Uh, but as you can see now, the sky is clearing up. We're getting a beautiful view of the sunrise this morning here in Würzburg, Germany. It looks amazing, it looks gorgeous. Ay, ay, ay. And now we're heading into our first tunnel. And we're looking pretty good so far. We'll check our HUD here. So as you, as I said earlier, we're using LZB, PCB, everything except for CIFA. And the U on the bottom right of our UI, that means that LZB is active. Pretty much as soon as you roll out of Würzburg platform, uh, you're gonna get LZB pretty quickly. So basically all you need to do is take your AFB handle here and roll it all the way to the front to max speed. And from here on, that U means LZB will control your speed the whole way. So I have the throttle on max, which honestly we could probably bring the throttle back to get a bit more traction. Uh, now that we're going through this through the tunnel and it's not you know as snowy and icy in here, we should get a lot more traction uh, and momentum going through the tunnel itself. But uh, you can basically you know go max throttle, max AFB, and LZB will take care of all of the throttle adjustments needed uh, for the entire route. Uh, and since we don't have SIFA, we don't have to worry about you know checking in every. 10 seconds <laughs> for CIFA yelling at us uh, and so I, I recently found that I could do this using PZB LZB and even you don't have to use PZB just use LZB and, uh, and that way you don't have to worry about acknowledging any of the yellow signals or anything like that as well so I mean if you want a really relaxed easy ride go for you know just using the uh, the LZB uh, with AFB here we come coming out of the tunnel loving the new lighting effects as we come out of tunnels now uh, definitely really like that there are there are a ton of tunnels on this route and one of my favorite things one of my personal favorite features of train Sim world 3 is the snow effects look at the snow flying off the sides of the train as we drive by at 169 70 kilometers an hour look at that that is so cool so cool we haven't had that in Train Sim World 2 or Train Sim World 1, any of them. Uh, very, very cool. One thing I noticed, I remember when watching videos online uh, of other ICE trains and even the TGV train as well, uh, is whenever they're driving in the snow or in the rain, they, you know, because they're going so fast and there's there's snow on the tracks, there's, there's rain on the tracks, you know, you see this massive rooster tail uh, of a snow flying off of it in the back. And I've always like been like, man, we really need that in, in Train Sim World. And so I'm really glad they finally added it to the Sim stock. By default, it's going to be there in Train Sim World 3. Popping out of the tunnel and then back into another tunnel. I will say, uh, big shout out to Dovetail Games uh, for giving me uh, the ability to get early access to this. This is, again, a early build. This is may not be the final version, the final product. Uh, so please take that in mind as you are watching the uh, whoa what was that <laughs> uh, what the heck was that uh while you're watching the um the video uh but hopefully you guys will enjoy the ride uh it's about it's a long route guys the total length of this route which is the longest route on train sim world actually on any train sim world so far is 182 kilometers in total from Würzburg to uh to castle uh which is actually 113 miles so the longest route so far on train Sim world 2 and i'm loving it you go i think if you guys may remember maybe watching one of my my past videos where i was kind of uh, not really complaining but kind of suggesting man i would love to have a lot more uh long high speed routes you know where you know you actually get to your top speed and kind of sit there for a while well this is exactly that 113 miles 182 kilometers we're gonna go up to i think 250 kilometers an hour uh but if you don't have pzb lzb safety systems anything anything like that on you can easily uh go much faster than that if you like but the, the total route is uh it'll probably take us about an hour an hour 10 minutes uh to do the full route so yeah i mean this is a high speed route that still takes us an hour every other high speed route that trains in world uh two or one have would take you about 30 minutes max to complete from end to end 
um, even with stops. So now it's really cool having a nice long route. It's gonna feel more like an actual journey, like an actual trip you're making from one city to the next, from one part of the country to the next part of the country. And I think that's what a lot of people who like high-speed trains have been wanting and have been waiting for. So hopefully they'll continue to do more things like this in the future. We'd love to continue to see longer routes. Uh, I, I would like to see routes equal to this one or longer than this as well. Like, can you imagine doing a high speed route where it takes you three hours? I, that might be unrealistic. I may be tripping. I know I'm not a developer, um, but can you imagine? Just, just imagine it, right? That would be pretty sick. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're reaching 226 kilometers an hour. As you can see, the snow is melting. Uh, dynamic weather is, is running. It's no longer actually snowing. Uh, so the windscreen is, is completely clean. Uh, there is still snow on the ground, which is really beautiful. It's beautiful seeing the snow. Uh, if you saw the shot earlier, seeing the sun reflecting off the snow and the snow texture just looking just so nice. Very well done here. Uh, the trees are still kind of, you know, got some snow cover on them, but not a whole lot. It's not completely ice white everywhere, even though we're in the icy one. It's not completely ice white. Breaking out of another tunnel right there. And looking good, man. And as I said, I haven't touched the controls since we left. Uh, the platform because I have PZB and AFB on and it's just that easy. All right, going into yet another tunnel. Uh, now, what's super important with this route, because as I said earlier, half of this whole route is actually tunnels. Uh, you're going to spend the majority of your time, it's going to feel like you're in tunnels. Uh, which is okay, because what they've done in Train Snow World 3 is they've really upgraded the tunnel experience, I call it. Uh, the tunnel textures inside the tunnels, at least on this route, look much better. Uh, the lighting looks much better. Uh, the way the train's headlights against the tunnel is actually much more illuminate. Uh, it's brighter. Uh, you can still turn your lights down to dim or the you know regular bright setting, uh, and it'll still be really really dark. Because I do know that in real life, depending on the train you're driving, some headlights are just not you know very effective. Uh, but on this route, uh, on Southeastern High Speed, on Cajon Pass, on uh, on this train here, uh, the lighting inside the tunnel looks much much better and you know i don't really hate being in tunnels uh there's been some routes on train sim world 2 in the past where i was like man you know the tunnel's cool and all but i don't know it just doesn't feel as enjoyable uh train sim world 3 definitely feels much more enjoyable driving through the tunnels and coming out of them breaking out of them uh and this big bright light you kind of get blinded by the light as you come out of the tunnel and it just looks it looks actually really good um and they're improving the way it looks going into the tunnel as well and a little house here on our left looks like i also like the volumetric uh clouds we're getting now on transom world 3. as you can see you're actually as we're moving uh northbound we're kind of getting closer to some of these clouds and even passing clouds so they're not all just you know pieces of cloud paper in the sky they all actually kind of have their own place uh, and, and you know to live in the sky and you can pass them if you want but we have reached our uh, basically our cruise speed about 250 kilometers you can see that here on our screen and we got about uh, about 45 kilometers out from Fulda and we need to be there at 902 uh, that puts us to be there in about 17 minutes from now um, and then after that we'll continue all the way I believe to uh, Castle. So uh, only one stop for us today. I know again, as I said earlier, it's a, a nice long route. You're allowed to kind of sit here at, at your high speed cruise uh, for quite a while. And it gives you time, honestly, to just chill, relax. If you don't have all the system, safety systems on, uh, if you don't have SEPA on specifically, you can really just kind of get up, go get some coffee, some tea, something to drink. Uh, I mean, honestly, if you're quick about it, you can run to the corner store <laughs> and, uh, and get something to get back in, in time to make your stop. Like, it's that long. And I think this is something that a lot of train sim enthusiasts really want. 
I know some people like the more shorter uh, commuter services, but some of us uh, want to really do some traveling and put some distance behind us, and this is the perfect route for that. Uh, Scenery-wise, the scenery is pretty, you know, it's okay, it's decent, it's nothing to, um, uh, to get extremely excited about for the scenery. Um, you know, it's, we've had about 50 German routes now for Transom World. And, uh, you know, they all vary in their own way, but they're, they're very similar as well. So um, you're getting the usual uh, Train Sim World uh, scenery treatment. It doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. We are getting some pop in as the LOD, the level of detail gets a bit more detailed as we get closer. But other than that, uh, I mean, it looks, it, it's pretty much all you would expect. The scenery really hasn't been upgraded since Train Sim World 2. Uh, it's just really just the lighting that the scenery lives in. Uh, it's kind of the, all the other stuff, kind of the underlying things that make it all kind of as a whole look uh, a bit better in my opinion. Uh, but I'm still curious, let me know in the comments if you like the route, if you like the lighting, do you prefer the lighting of Train Sim World 2? Um, yeah, just, just let me know. I mean, do you, are you considering to upgrade to Train Sim World 3? Are you like, nah, doesn't look like it's worth it? Definitely interested to know uh, your opinion on that so definitely drop that in the comments when you get a chance but uh yeah definitely enjoy the ride as we head to Folda platform six whoa okay this dynamic weather stuff is crazy uh i just came out of a long tunnel and as you just saw it is now foggy i'm not sure what it is <laughs> I'm not I'm like it. Did I just go into a, a, a mad snowstorm or is it just foggy low visibility? Let's see when we pop out of this tunnel. I'm not sure how long we'll be out of it, but it's just bright white, just white out. Wow, yeah, it is just a foggy white out. It is not snowing, it's not raining, it's just foggy. That is, yeah, this dynamic weather stuff is crazy. I, I like it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You win. You win. You win, Dovetail. You win. Because now I got to deal with not being able to see the end of the platform, possibly. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're 11K out. Uh, we should be slow. Yep, there it is. There's a G, which means that we have a uh, speed restriction coming up. And it says 200, so 200 is what it's going to be. Uh, because we're on LZB, um, it should take care of that for us. Uh, but we'll keep monitoring it because if it doesn't get there in time, uh, we will have to put some brakes in ourselves. Yes, and we cannot see absolutely anything outside right now. Complete whiteout. And there it is. You see our speed's coming down. I did not touch anything. I did not put apply any brakes. Uh, the AFB linked with the LZB are working together to slow our speed down to the restricted speed of 200 kilometers an hour and we need to be there by a certain time and it should get there just in time uh, for us to be uh, for us to need it so yeah freaking fog came out of nowhere I mean it is morning time um, so it makes sense to kind of get some of that morning fog I don't know how much that happens in Germany but wow this is this is pretty cool so 6.7 out, so our speed is going to continue to slow down. You can see now it has a 140, so we're going to slow down to 140. And there's our countdown to get there. So again, LZB and AFB should work together to slow our speed down. There's a G again, so it's going to start slowing down here shortly. To get us down uh, to 140 kilometers an hour before we get to the actual marker. And that's not before we get to the, the actual platform. That's going to be well before we get to the platform. And you can see there's like that green light. You can barely see that green light piercing through the fog. And here comes the brakes again. There it is. You can so we we have a the visibility is bad, but the good thing is that they the actual signal lights are able to be seen through the fog. So I'm glad that you can. We'll see how far out. So you can kind of see a red signal here. I don't see anymore. There's 140. That's the next speed limit. So it should be slowing down. Hopefully, LZB will do its thing. If it doesn't, uh, we'll get emergency stop. There's yellow, there's red. So yeah, it's, they're doing a pretty good job. You can actually see 
Yep, I can see green from a decent amount of ways. From I can see the green light from well farther than I can actually see the rail or anything else. Yeah, we just now seen that bridge pop into our focus. So very nice, very nicely done there. All right, next speed is 100. So again, LZB is taking care of it. We are actually getting some, we are sliding a little bit. That's not good. Hopefully uh, LZB doesn't lock us up and the wheels start sliding. We don't get stopped in time. That will be really bad, really bad. You also saw those sparks there coming off of the panograph. All right, we should be good. 1.6 kilometers from our actual stop. And uh, we're looking good on time. We still have uh, seven minutes to get there, about six minutes to get there. I see all yellow, so let's get prepared to um, turn off our actual throttle and start getting ready. I see lots of yellows ahead of us. All right, there we go. And there's another yellow signal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the throttle off completely and start applying some manual braking here with the train brake. And AFB honestly will actually uh, slow you down as well, but I just use a train brake just in case, especially when driving with all my safety systems on. You never know what trigger you might drive over. And there's another uh, IC1. Uh, it's like he's leaving, he's departing. We have a red signal ahead too, so we really don't want to screw this up. Another reason why I like to have my backup as my train brake. And let it roll into the station. And we're looking good, guys. We were on time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, rolling into a slow stop at the end of the platform. And believe it or not, LZB AFB is actually still slowing me down. I'm not applying any brakes. It's stopping us pretty much automatically here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We'll set to 1A. We'll open up the right side doors. And... All right, doors are shut, and it is time to move on to our final stop at Castle. I'll pull our brakes off, and throttle in. And it's gonna take a couple seconds for this early kick in. There it is, you can see we're actually starting to get some precip again. Not sure if it's snow or rain. All right, we're looking good. And as you can see, we are getting some uh, precipitation again on our windshield. Again, I'm not sure if that is snow or rain. It kind of looks like snow. I believe it's snow. Yeah, I believe it's snow. Yeah, it looks like you can see the uh, fog is kind of going away. Slowly, we're getting better visibility. Getting some uh, some snowy precipitation again. And now heading down into yet another tunnel. So I have my throttle. I'm going to put it down to max as we go down the hill. We have our AFB already set to max as well. Brakes are fully released. And uh, LZB is in control once again. And uh, it's going to take us all the way to Castle. 84 kilometers. Quick LZB right there. So we're already under LZB. I'm not sure why that sign is there. But we should get green signals all the way. I'm not sure if there's any traffic ahead of us. Uh, if there is, uh, LZB, I believe, will actually slow us down even for the traffic ahead. And even, I believe, bring us bring us to a complete stop as well. 
One thing I think that, that Dovetail's done a great job with on Trains in World 3 is the training center. Um, you learn a lot. I think it's a lot more user friendly uh, for new people to get into Train Sim World 3 for the first time. It teaches you everything you really need to know uh, to get started and going. There are a few uh, training scenarios that I would like them to add a bit more, like some of the more advanced safety systems like LZB, PZP, um, C for all that kind of stuff. But there are some, uh, some basic training even for some of those. Um, but it, and even then, on top of that, I would love for them to even add the ability or the uh, yeah the ability to to earn extra points or higher achievements for actually even using the safety systems. I know they spend a lot of time getting the safety systems to work in the simulator, um, and I feel like it takes a lot of time to learn how to use them and use them correctly. So I feel like if you complete a route with the safety systems on. Uh, you should earn some type of achievement or maybe get some bonus points for driving with the safety systems on you know for you get points for driving under the speed limit and then you get i think you either lose points or you get less points for driving over the speed limit so it'd be nice if you could you know if you have safety systems turned on uh, on any train on any route you could actually earn a bonus amount or multiplier of points for running with the safety systems on i think that'll inspire people and motivate people to actually learn it i think it's a lot of fun it's more enjoyable for me personally to drive with safety systems on. It gives me a reason or it kind of gives me, you know, uh, something to look at. I, I don't just kind of let the train drive as fast as it can go and not pay attention to it. You actually have to pay attention to the train, to the signals and to what's going on ahead of you. And uh, that makes it a lot more fun to me. And as I said, we have just under 80 kilometers now to go. And that's going to take us about 30 minutes just to do that. Um, so, <laughs> as I said, this full route is about an hour, ten minutes or so. So it's it's gonna take us a while to get there. We're gonna have a we're gonna go back up to 250 kilometers uh, for our cruise speed heading to Castle, and we can just chill, relax, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the view, look out the window, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here we go, breaking out of the tunnel. And yes, it is definitely snowing out here once again. Very cool, man. This dynamic weather thing is so fun. Uh, a game changer for sure. All right, the G is active, and we are 20 minutes later approaching Castle, 9.5K out. Next speed limit is 180, a pretty dramatic speed change, so hopefully LZB will be able to work with us. Here comes a IC3. Sweet. Absolutely love those snow effects. And honestly, I still prefer the ICE3. Um, that's my my favorite German high-speed train at the moment, at least until we get to ICE 4. Uh, we'll see about that one. I'm also looking forward to driving the VR 101 that is supposed to become available for this route too in the future. So, um, but yeah, so we're approaching our station. We're still, I think, just under 10 minutes out though. Um, but we are starting our slowdown. So just letting LCB do its thing. I'm not touching anything. And uh, we'll take control when we need to take control. Just kind of monitoring everything, making sure that it does slow down and get us to where we want to be. But other than that, we just let it do its thing. Really cool graffiti on the wall. I still haven't touched anything. LZB and AFB are slowing us down on its own. The line speed right now is 180. About to drop to 140. You can see that on the UI on the top right. And there's 140 kilometers. And we should see a sign coming up soon that says that 140 is our speed limit. Yep, the G is still illuminated, so it's still slowing us down. Next is going to be 100. There's a green light. We've been really lucky to get all green lights all the way down the route. I'm not sure. I believe I've done a scenario once, or maybe it was a timetable where uh, there was a train ahead of us. And uh, we had to slow down for it. 
Though again, LZB still doing his thing. You can see there's a yellow sign of a 10, which means 100. That's 100 kilometers warning, or a, a warning saying that the next uh, speed limit reduction is 100 kilometers. So um, it is now slowing itself down completely. So we're now less than two kilometers out. Um, there's also a red signal at the end of that as well. So let's make sure we stay ready. I'm gonna hit PZB acknowledge. So we do have that turned on just in case. And AFB, LZB is still slowing us down on its own. I haven't actually touched the throttle or the brakes. So the 100 kilometer speed limit is coming up here in about 200 meters. But uh, AFB is actually taking us much slower than that. We're doing one, let's see, 70, yes, yeah, 70 and, and descending. One more horn for the road. All right, there was a 10 I just saw on the ground. And we are looking good. And I'm just gonna hit the, I'm gonna spam the PZB Acknowledge just in case. Last thing I want is last minute <laughs> to get a uh, PZB Acknowledge. I do wanna say before we end this service, uh, that track IR and uh, the rail driver both work uh, with Train Sim World 3. I'm using both of them. Uh, for this whole route, I've been using the rail driver. Uh, if you want to see more about the rail driver, you can check my next uh, US freight route. I'll be using it for the Cajon Pass video. So, wow, yeah, I, pff, this is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. Look at those wipers turned off. I'm legit not even using any brake. It's just going to bring us to a complete stop all on its own. I'm telling you guys, LZB AFP is OP. <laughs> For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Castle. We made it. We made it. Unlock the doors. So it took us a total of one hour and five minutes distance driven, 182.93 kilometers, and we walked about 30, 369. I actually did some walking uh, back at Foda because we got there five minutes early. So yes, on time all day. I like it. I really do like and enjoy this service. I have to say the ICE-1 is definitely a pretty cool, fun, laid back train to drive. But I have to be honest with you guys, uh, the ICE-3 is still my number one German favorite uh, and followed by my absolute number one high speed train, the TGV. Um, can't beat that for me yet. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.